Wolf, there's a lot to go through in this video. The developers have been busy teasing the future of Sea of Thieves on several different online sources, and rather than you go looking for them, you can just watch this video to catch up, and in the process possibly get a couple of developers a disciplinary, because they might have said too much to game reporters. Yay! Hey, you beautiful buccaneers, Falcor here. So to kick things off, you may have heard Sea of Thieves is coming to the PlayStation 5. Exclusive titles have always been a thing in the gaming industry, such as Tomb Raider on the PlayStation and Metal Gear Solid on the Xbox. But it appears that Xbox are finally standing up to the exclusive nature of gaming and releasing Sea of Thieves and a few other titles over on the PlayStation 5. It's almost like they're a business and they're trying to make money. But with the release of an already established game on a new system, it also comes with incentives to snap a copy up. Doing so earns you a bunch of fancy cosmetics, such as the Ruby Viper weapon set, which as you can see is a recolor of the Obsidian set. Observe now how all those people who complained about recolors will now complain that they can't get this recolor. <laughs> Shut up! And this ruby parrot thing. All yours for simply pre-ordering the PlayStation 5 version. There's going to be so many people with a copy of Sea of Thieves on a PlayStation who don't even own a PlayStation after next week. It's almost like they're a business and they're trying to make money. Pre-ordering also gets you access to the PlayStation Beta, in which you can unlock the new Dauntless Sales and Pirate title. This is blacked out because they haven't released an image of the sales yet, but I've seen them and boy oh boy, feathers are going to be ruffled. It's almost like they're a business. So that's all very cool and stuff, but let's Let's move away from lining res pockets for a moment and talk about what's being said on various social networks and social media. We'll start with some bad news first. Adventures. RIP. They have revealed that Adventures will not be returning to Sea of Thieves. For those of you who are new, this doesn't mean you won't be able to go on an adventure. Adventures were a regular time-limited occurrence in Sea of Thieves that had so much potential, but honestly didn't hit the mark in so many ways. I was very excited for them, but it slowly dawned on me, and I think the rest of the community, that they weren't really moving the story along to any degree. Instead, they were bloating the storyline with too many tangents, and with them being time-limited, it was hard for people to keep up. So although it's sad to see them go, it's also good that they acknowledged that they were just not working. That doesn't mean, though, that the storyline is on halt. Some of the best storytelling that has ever occurred in Sea of Thieves was never reliant on cutscenes and hand-holding storylines. Heck, that's literally how my channel started. We were doing just fine before Adventures or Tall Tales came along. Story will still exist, very much so, but just like the sandbox nature of Sea of Thieves, it will be something you have to go looking for. Discovery! Remember that? Seasonal updates moving forwards will have their own narrative and world changes, where the community as a whole will have to come together to figure out what's going on. Not for a grand prize or a sparkly cosmetic, just some fun spitter spatter between story-loving nerds like myself. Like the good old days and I'm all for it. On the good news front, it was revealed in an article that Season 12 will come with a new armory weapon as one of the headline features. Armory weapon meaning it'll be a selectable weapon, so not a silly mermaid staff or an ashen wind skull. Plus, Mike Chapman revealed on Twitter that it's not just one new weapon. Sorry, Mike. So it appears we'll be getting at least two new armory weapons to spice things up in the sandbox a little. I wonder what they could be. <laughs> Speaking of Season 12, within the PlayStation 5 release video, they revealed some of the cosmetics that will be available in the Season Rewards, showcasing a new ship set and what appears to be a procedural stone curse. Anyone who has read the Athena's Fortune novel might remember a certain pirate with such a curse. Could this be leading onto a new story focus? We'll just have to wait and see. But if you're looking for some really meaty news over the next few days, Sea of Thieves are actually dropping a 2024 preview event video on the 20th, showcasing all the new stuff coming in Season 12, Season 13, and Season 14. I'll likely be doing a watch party of this video on my Twitch channel when it goes live, followed by a live discussion with chat, so come along if you want to. 
but until March 20th, there is really not much more I can say. It's a difficult position some of the time being a Sea of Thieves partner. I really want to hype you guys up more, but I simply cannot. You'll just have to wait and see. But I can say this much. If you've always loved the mischief and shenanigans of adventure mode, you're simply going to love what Sea of Thieves has planned for 2024. And I hope they at least give everyone a big insight into their plans so we can all share the excitement on March 20th. Until then though, don't forget to hit that button that looks like this and use your index finger to press a thumb. And I'll speak to you all very soon. Happy sailing! It's almost like they're a business and they're trying to...